what is going on guys it is a fine fine super fine day here in southwest pa and in today's episode we are going to be talking about body position now this has actually been a topic that i had a couple people ask me about and i feel bad i wanted to get it out a lot sooner but i wasn't really able to but um it's a super important topic because not only will it help you ride your bike correctly and operate your bike correctly it should also boost your confidence because whenever you are riding it correctly the bike's going to behave the way it's supposed to and you're going to just get the most out of your bike and just be more and more confident and stable and riding because it's going to just feel right if that makes any kind of sense um i do want to say uh, a quick disclaimer this is not necessarily for the Ninja 650 specifically, but I am riding a Ninja 650 and while the 650 does look like a sports bike, it's a sports touring bike. So it's very upright body position. I'm not hunched over whatsoever and my feet are not back. They are right down with me. It's a very upright ergonomics body position motorcycle. It's also not a cruiser. With a cruiser, your handlebars are gonna be up a little bit more. Your feet are gonna be up a little bit more. So this is just like a very, uh, how do I wanna wear this? Uh, neutral body position. Many, many motorcycles are in this position, but cruisers and super sports are not. Uh, some of these ideas will work uh, and will serve benefit, but if you are specifically looking for that kind of content, there's a lot of good YouTubers out there that specialize in cruisers and super sports. So while this might help you a little bit, it probably won't be everything that you need. So let's just get into the, um, excuse me, let's just get into the video. So I wanna start from the bottom up and starting with your feet. So with your feet, you wanna be on the heels, or you wanna be on the balls of your feet and on the pegs, right? So you want the heel balls of your feet to be on the pegs, so that's the area right behind your toes. You don't wanna be on the heel, kinda of like this weird dangling thing. It, it's insane how many riders I actually see do that. And I don't wanna talk, I'm not talking bad on them, but it is incorrect. Uh, you can get yourself hurt if you're riding and you mess up or you're leaning too hard or whatever, you can scrape that. It's, it's just incorrect body position. You want the balls of your feet to be on the pegs and also right on the side of the bike. So the 650 has this little guard here. I'm sure a lot of other motorcycles have guards. Uh, and you want your foot to be there and tucked to the bike. You, you kind of want to hold your body with your feet and with your legs because I think it was Moto Jiu Jitsu who said it, at any given time, you should be able to play the piano. You're just playing the piano and you're gonna get that from your feet and your legs. Um, also, uh, whenever you're you're riding like one, one thing that I, I the way that I think of it is like Dorothy right there's no place like home you should be able to like move tap your uh, tap your foot like this right so there's no place like home you're on a motorcycle there's no place like home uh, you know there are situations where you would be a little bit forward if you're gonna shift and then shift and then shift but then move that right back. The my uh, the the right side. I never cover my rear brake. If I'm being 100% honest, I really don't use my rear brake. Uh, some people might get upset about that. I don't. I don't use my rear brake. I use my front brakes for absolutely everything. Uh, the only time I use my rear brakes is to lock it up to get it to skid because I think that's fun, and for slow speed maneuvers. If I'm like doing. Uh, parking lot drills other than that I really don't touch it uh, I, I mostly rely on my front brakes and uh, front brakes over engine braking as well so that's how much I love my front brakes and that's how much you should love your front brakes too yes you can use everything in unison and operate it perfectly 
I like my front brakes. Um, so it just is what it is. So also with your feet, they're tucked to the side of the, the bike. That's your first anchor point because the idea is you want to have a tight center of gravity with your motorcycle. So when you start off with your feet, and you're going to move up to your legs all this is tight on the bike and the top part of your bike body can kind of move around and we'll get to that uh here in a second but that's that's kind of the whole idea so moving up from the feet is the legs your legs should be tight or not tight your your legs should be up against the bike whenever i was doing my uh whenever i was doing my training for the uh, msf course naturally because i watched max wrist and all these other uh people ride super aggressively i thought that whenever you came into a turn you always had to stick out your leg i thought that was just part of it yes if you're riding at very high speeds where you have to shift that center of gravity exactly yes 100 percent. but we're not doing that we're not doing that you shouldn't be doing that uh, as a beginner at the end of the day you do what you like but you, that's not what we're doing it got to the point where my instructor said Matt I'm going to super glue your leg to that tank if you move it one more time because again every time I turn I'd stick my leg out not doing that we're going to keep ourselves anchored with our feet and with our legs to the motorcycle because what's going to happen is whenever you're riding you can actually maneuver the bike kind of with your butt but it's with your bottom half with your your legs and your feet because you can you can really feel it like swinging around the bike you're not death gripping it but you're holding it again at any point in time i think it was moto jiu-jitsu who said at any point in time you should be able to be able to hold yourself and play play the piano you're not leaning on your bike right your arms are here, your hands are here, but you're not leaning on the bike. Your body should be held up by your feet and by your legs. Also with seating, as far as seating goes, you don't want to be right up on the tank. You want to be back on the tank. You should at least have a fist in your crotch area of space. That's what's most comfortable with me. That's things that I've learned as I was riding and I think it really does help a lot. Uh, it, it just gives you a lot more flickability with the bike, right? Because you're, you're able to really maneuver yourself with the bike. The next thing is your handlebars. And it's, there's, there's two parts of this. The first thing is you don't want your hands like right up on the, the, the sides of your handlebars where your controls are at. You wanna have your hands almost as far out where they are still on the bike, but almost as far out as they can be. And the reason for that is it's a leverage problem. If you think about math and you think about physics, the, the leverage equation, whenever you have a longer distance, you have a, a, a longer length, and you're you're putting pressure on it, it it's it's easier to move uh it requires less force to move and also it gives you more range of motion because if i'm right up here if i'm right up on the handlebars and i'm pulling in the brake that's imagine this is the brake it's the clutch but it's imagine it's the brake and you're pulling in you're only getting this amount of movement and engagement with a lot more energy to do that if you're out here you get a lot more motion a lot more of the brake is engaged and it takes a lot less energy to do that so it takes less energy and more movement and it will take you less time to engage and progressively brake so definitely whenever your 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 hands are on the bike you kind of want like with the ninja 650 it's got this little uh this little uh ball thing at the end i like to have the the heel of my foot or the heel of my foot the the heel of my hand right resting on that 
So that to me gives me the most. And what I was also talking about with leverage, it also gives you the the most uh, the the most movement with your bike. If you think about it, if you're riding on the road and you can test this out, if you push with your finger up close, the bike will move. Right? You push left to go left. But if you use that same amount of force out here, the bike's gonna go a lot more. It's gonna go more. So having your hands out is going to be able to really get the most out of the bike, be able to, to flick it even easier. And you'll just be operating the bike a lot more efficient. Uh, the next thing with the handlebars is how your hand, how you're actually turning the throttle. Because when you're turning the throttle, you're not chomping the throttle right we're not we're not chomping the throttle like this we're turning it almost like a screwdriver so whenever we're riding it feels a lot more natural you get a lot more movement and it's a lot less tiring if you start riding for long periods of time and you get hour on your bike two hours three hours four hours you're gonna feel it and you're really gonna feel it if you're just cranking down that throttle like that. That's that's incorrect. You're doing more work than you have to. It feels unnatural. And you're also limiting your reaction time with your brake because if you're engaged like this, you gotta let off the throttle to reach your brake. You can't really reach your brake like that. But if you're twisting it like a screwdriver and having the the your hand resting on all well, this part for the 650 other bikes have similar similar setups and you're twisting you're right there on your brake it's right there and you can roll off with your thumb or roll off with with your hand and you can engage your brakes a lot a lot easier and better and again since you're farther out on the um on the, the lever, you get a lot more range of motion with a lot less effort. So being able to really get that down, I think would, would really help riding. Um, it, it's definitely helped mine because when I first started riding, I naturally kind of did this. It's not right, it's not correct. You will tire yourself out and it will just feel wonky to you. Uh, the next thing is Kind of like what the top part of your body is doing and and really kind of focusing on your arms and your elbows and your shoulder even we all know that you look where you're turning right but when you're riding you don't want to be locked out kind of like this right you want to be loosey-goosey first and foremost but also with your elbows slightly bent because what that's going to do is one it's going to be comfortable two it's going to help you with the range with your range of motion and three whenever you get more advanced it'll help you get over the bike get over the bike meaning stuff like that we're not doing that but it's 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 how you progress in the ranks so to speak so you want to have your elbows a little bit bent so whenever we're coming into this turn let's say we're going to make this left hand turn we're going to push left to go left we're going to keep our head flat with the ground right we're going to keep it flat with the ground we're not twisting we're not doing anything crazy like that keeping it flat with the ground and we're bending in with our elbow our elbow is getting more bent and we're able to bend in if you were like this this is what this is what would happen right that doesn't it doesn't make any sense it's not comfortable it, it's not it's not correct with your bent you already get that motion so you're not really bending your elbow your elbow is bending but it's bending because you're moving your torso so this is bending your other arm is extending so again we're riding we see this turn coming up we're turning into the turn we're leaning into the turn i'm not bending my elbow because at the end of the day remember i'm pushing so in theory if i'm pushing this should be extending right but i'm leaning into the turn i am able to push but just because of my torso and how the anatomy of the human body works i'm leaning into the turn and this elbow is bending while this elbow is contracting 
And again, what that's gonna do, it's gonna help you really maneuver the bike and get your body over that center of gravity. Because if this is the center of gravity and to help you assist in the turn, meaning you have to shift that center of gravity, well, this is your torso, you're getting your torso off that center of gravity if that if that if i'm making any kind of sense so again with your elbows bent you're able to shift that center of gravity and just be completely comfortable your uh, your neck is free to be flat like you if you're locked out oh see if i'm locked out like this and i try doing that there's a slight turn it's that's that's incorrect you're turning your head is flat your head is flat so flat with the ground rather so that's like the, the big big things as far as body position uh, again you know heels of your heels of your feet or uh, balls of your feet on the pegs close to the bike that's your first anchorage point the second anchorage point is your legs I mean the bike is even the 650 specifically is even designed to hug that I mean that's how the bike is designed so utilize it these these people put a lot of money and effort and energy into designing these, these bikes to make them as effective as possible so there's no weird design on these bikes that's just for looks it serves a purpose so again first anchorage point is your leg or your foot Sec second anchorage point is your um is your leg your torso can kind of move around a little bit my shoulders are back just a little bit just because of the 650 how it is my hands aren't right up against the as close as i can to the the, the handlebars they're out to the side and i'm also twisting my wrist like a screwdriver to get that to roll and roll off the throttle my elbows are bent i'm not locked in you know I'm bent so whenever it comes time for me to maneuver I can just maneuver right see bending extending talking about this elbow bending extending right so I really hope that this video helped you out um, that's pretty much it uh, this is just like the basics this isn't like an advanced idea uh, these this isn't for like you know how to go fast this is just getting a good body position on your bike so you can gain confidence and just get the most out of your bike and to ride it correctly because whenever if you're in a situation where you're riding too fast you're riding too fast for your comfort level here's a turn coming and you're in the wrong body position maybe your hands are close here your elbows are locked you're trying to make this turn and it's not turning all the way now you're freaking out now you're going straight through the turn hit a tree or whatever when if you were in the right body position to begin with and you were going too fast like oh i'm going too fast i can just push harder and that will definitely help me out or i can straighten myself out while braking so again just these this body position will help you be able to maintain your bike a lot easier so i really hope that this video helped you if it did help uh, consider subscribing liking commenting letting me know if i did a good job if i didn't do a good job or whatever i gotta hurry up and upload this because it is uh eight o'clock and this has to be up at 6 50 in the morning tomorrow so i gotta hurry up get home and edit this and get this going so thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it uh on our way to 2000 subs let's see if we can hit 2000 subs before the end of summer i'm hoping we can i think we can and if you're watching and you're not subbed that you've been watching sub up i'm watching you i see you i don't actually see at you but anyways i'll see you guys in the next one